Okay, so uh, first item on the menu is a uh, full screen shader or a full screen <clears throat> shader, basically. Uh, that would full screen shader is an image loading. That okay, so right now the only the shader I have only does whoops, it's on the loaded on the wrong screen does just this little triangular area. So I want to be able to have like a full screen, uh, well, vertex shader at least one. So I'm thinking of two. This is fully in internal. So like if I look at the vertex shader of this, you can see like the array points are all actually already in the shader. I don't actually have to pass any information through to it. Um, so I'm thinking of, of having two. One, which will be like a large, which will be a quad will made up of four points. So you'll have two triangles, you know, one that's like the top left and one that's the bottom right. And to have a single full screen triangle. So that's a full screen quad. And then the full screen triangle should be like, like it'll have one point like in the corner here and then another point like double the size all the way out there and then double the size way down here. That should be enough that like at least this area will be available and then we can scissor out this area when we're rendering like a full screen whatever. I'm not really sure like what's better, a full screen triangle or a full screen quad, but I'll have both available. So <clears throat> first thing is, uh, let's actually just do like, remove like simple to like simple, just like that. I have a different thing, let's do, Move these uh, simple, yes, wonderful, wonderful. All right, all right, it looks like Rogers will give me internet today. So, <clears throat> first one will be probably easy enough, it'll just be like the full screen triangle. basically be a copy of this guy, except um, 0 0.0, 0 0.5, so it'll be like negative 1, negative 1. And then it'll be 1, negative 1. And then the other one will be like negative one, one. Okay, let's see how this guy shows up. So that should be like the top left, which we can use as a, also as a basis for the full screen quad actually. So yeah, this will be, yeah, 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, simple enough. So I'll actually copy this and reuse it for that. Quad. Vertex. Okay, we'll fin finish this by, oh, not negative, uh, that will be just 1.0. Negative 1, negative 1, top left. 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1. Okay, so then what we want is, that's there. We want the second point to be like double, 2.0, negative 1. And then negative one on the X and then 2.0 down below. Negative one, 
not quite. Interesting. To oh, the trig, right? So it'd be like actually, it would be th three. So actually, I do two point nine. Just to make sure. Right. 2.9 like that. It'll just be like just a little tad in the corner that won't be shaded in. Yeah, okay, so I need to be three. Whoops, math. Me, me so great at math, that's why I'm here. And then, of course, the fragment shader. Oh, yeah, when I uh, come back to do the fragment shader, I'm going to have to do that as well. I'd have to pass. Yeah, I'd have to pass. Well, instead of passing out a color, I'd be passing out a fragment shader. Uh, fra uh, U and V coordinates for texture rather than the color I am currently doing. Or essentially, it would be the same thing. Yeah. Okay, actually, what I didn't even actually. Oh no, because I moved it right. So one thing I want to do then is out UV. In UV. I'm just using it as a color, anyways. In this in this case, so I don't really mind it too much. That, 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 and that. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's, yeah, makes sense. So we got full screen triangle. So I got the full screen triangle. That's great. Simple. Now I need to do the full screen quad. Now, the full screen quad is going to be a little, um, a little bit different because I'm going to require a fourth location. Let's just select the file. I'm going to have a fourth location vertex array, and it'll be like what? One, one. quad just compile that see what happens pretty sure, sure nothing will be changing because it'll still be taking in the three locations because those are the three ind indices that are being given what's it taking so long i do not load the um oh i am loading it that's why stop it stop it stop loading that in the validation layers take a long time to load. See, now it's instant. So we got the first three things. So when it comes down to drawing, command buffer, pass, begin, blah, 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 draw. We will, what? What is this? This is a, um, come on. Where is it? Oh, yes, this is a uh, render pass. No. Okay, this is the vertex thing, isn't it? 
Okay, because in... I need a, the topology. I need... Come on, where is it? Topol... There we go. Triangle list. One, two, three... What? Okay. I need to f remember... Is it a triangle fan? Oh, did they get rid of triangle fan? I'm... Hmm. I think they got rid of triangle fan. Triangle fans, yay. Hmm. The triangle strip will work. Um, of course, this would take that long. Uh, I should really just be using the raw. Okay, triangle strips. Triangle fan. Oh, versus triangle strip. What? Zero, one, two, three. Okay, three is the one I want. It's triangle strip. Triangle fans are very special. Zero, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, triangle fans are the really weird ones. Triangle strip works. So I want to do a triangle strip. I could have done it for the other one type anyways as well. But, and then I want four. I want to do four points. So it'll be zero, one, two, three, and then two, three, and four. So one, that, and that. Zero, one, two, and then two, three, four. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not sure if that'll actually work. We'll just see what happens. Because it'll be on the other side? Mm, it looks fine. Do I have, is, is it just because I don't have a call mode? It may just be because I don't have a call mode. So most of the times I probably want a full screen triangle instead anyways. But the full screen quad is there if required. Okay. Put that up. And then I want to change this to the triangle strip. And otherwise I'll just reset these guys. Revert them. Thank you. Utilizing Yeah. It's as simple as it goes as it's possibly going to get. Do that. Oh, but I do want to change this to be triangle simple try. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Change that from triangle to like UV to color. Do that. And 
need to rerun that so that it'll rebuild. I don't want to actually do that one. Put that. Or just unstage it, I should say. Oh, no. Oh, wow, I can't believe I screwed that one up that badly. Triangle. And then we have UV key color for a fragment shader. What the FPS value looks like. We'll really shrink it down. Basically nothing. Do it full screen, basically nothing. Okay, put it on the 4, 4K screen. Now we got some uh, fill rate issues. Obviously the RX 580 is not really the greatest for uh, fill rate anymore. Okay, we got this, this, and we want this. Gonna to want to So now next is images. I need I want to be able to load an image that I can then slap up in place of the the UV to color thing I got going on right now. So <clears throat> uh, the first thing I'm going to really require is hmm, the ability to load images perhaps have like an error image and an error depth stencil image as well hmm. okay well I guess the first thing we're going to have to do is basically the same as we always do where it's we have some type as a base. basically be similar to this I'm going to have load state so atomic Really, it didn't find it from that. Mm, you probably will later. Mm, 
Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're going to need some items for this actually before. We're going to need a. Uh, Okay, there is or should be BK, hmm, BK memory manager, not a manager, but some kind of memory. Ah, what do they call it? No, 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 no. There's Sky. The Vulcan memory allocator. Which I do not believe is really is actually included with any of the others. Really, I don't have the latest Fedora? I thought I did. Unless they got an updated one like today. Ah, oh, I forget how long it takes for this. No, for God's sakes. Welcome memory, I'm doubtful. Yeah, okay. It's something I'm gonna to have to include as an external library, probably. As I'm not really keen on the Doing a lot of that stuff. Quite yet. Um, what do I need? How are you? How do I? Come on. How do I use it? Example. Okay, no, that's creating a new thing. Really? That they use it? Hmm. Okay. Good enough for me. Quick start projects. Set up. Okay. It's, oh, it's one of these types. Okay. Um, fine. This is a uh, H. Okay, no, it's a H file. Okay. Okay. Going to include it like this. So a header PP is just a plain header like that. And then I'm just going to find what's the latest one that they have. 
2.3. Okay, I actually got to go here. 2.3. Okay. 2.3. I just put it like in here. Not really. Okay, I'm gonna have to like move this over here, extract it. Okay, let's um Velox premix source. Begin the new that like do i actually need any of this test test common common test okay the, the rest of these are just samples and stuff i just need this one file mm, copy that in here in here in here in here paste that in yes overwrite bam okay Looks like we don't even bother. Oh, it's already formatted. Very nice. Or is it? No, it's not. Uh. Okay, I'll just format it before I actually work with it. Then we're going to want to... Basically... Um, Similar to this. Version 3.13, dependencies, blah, blah, blah. I want to find package open required. That is true. Um, library. has to be static include directories so that it's easy to include for other for everyone else public and make current zoomster Uh, we also want the includers. Do I need the includers? No, he seems to be able to find it fine. Oh, as long as I uh, use that new way to do it. Bring it over. To, to target. Bam. I will probably need F pick as well. Uh, is it a definition? It's an option. It's private dash F P I C position independent code. We got that. And then we want to include it at the top. Um, so it's before. Build it. Uh, 
So what version do we even have? 230 from the end of last year. That's quite a while ago. Hmm. Like I said, I'll take care of memory allocations. I think we'll be just about fine. So going back to, okay, clearing that out and that and that. Back to this, we have, what do we need? We are going to have DMA allocation. Well, if I include the file actually. Then we have the VK image, VK image view. I'll handle to all these three. Take away the default. And of course, he's not including it quite yet. Need to add a VK Vulcan. Like that. I'm not even including the image thing anyways, right now. Silly little me. Okay, we have the image. Now we want to actually we want to process a load. To, we want to load the image, which is the interesting thing. Define declare. I could define and declare it through YAML right now, but I'm not quite going to touch. I'm going to focus on being able to get an image from the file system. Maybe no, not from the file system. Locally, I'm going to generate. The error image, which will be like the classic Valve pink black checkerboard image, and I'm going to put throw that into this image and then throw that up on screen. <clears throat> so, um, hmm. find. Uh, error image error, error color error color move that out copy that through okay put in an empty namespace so I want to be able to fill and okay. I want to fill an image error image data. Uh, we have several things. We have format type. Actually, that means we're going to require Vulcan. Gonna have the MIP level, I suppose. Do we want the MIP level? These are always gonna be hmm. No, just the extent for the moment. So that's like the width and height. And it will make it'll keep these images always completely square, just for easiness. Now we check squares, number of the checkers. Eight underscore T star T data. This is the data we're sending back. This means we want to the standard int type. Uh, 
Um, moment, I'll just focus on the one format. So I format not equals E8. Oh, sorry, no. R8, G8, E8, A8. Um, U norm is the 8. For the moment, I can't even include it's like CSR or something like that. Yeah, whatever, I'll find out later. Also, I actually add this to the error color image. E error. We'll also have it include. For the moment. No abort in. Really? Where is standard abort? Who's got it? <clears throat> C standard lib. Okay. Bring him in for the moment. Okay, so since at the moment these are four byte images, we want to be able to. Okay, I can do. Yes. I'm going to add an array, make things a little bit easier. And we're going to have a pointer like the pixel data, p pixel data. So we reinterpret cast of an array, which is an array of uint 8t of, of length 4 for all, each of uh, four of the colors RGB and A of p data. So that I can process these basically one pixel at a time altogether. Um, so our const. Is it all const? Yeah. Uh, the lip color equals, I don't know, what's pink? Or fuchsia. What about fuchsia? This times four. And it's a two oh four zero two oh four two fifty five and black is what always full zeros, I think. Submit fill or color fill black fill. Change that to a pointer. Got it. Four zero 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 two fifty five. All right. So uh, the square size for the number of checkers for each uh, square I'm generating. So. Square size with extent or um, just extent. No reason with mid maps quite yet. Not even check square. Square size is zero and that means why would it ah yes because if it's large okay yeah if it's too large i need to scale it back to equals extent divided by two 
I'm assuming unsigned. And if it's still, then I need to divide by equals one. It'll be the same size as the, as the whole thing. Since this is it one by one at this point, yeah. All right, then at this point, we want to actually go through the entire and fill up the entire texture. So we want to go through if um, x divided by square size mod 2. I don't mind if this takes a bit more calculation because this is something that only happens like once during the startup of application. It's going to generate like one error text and just reuse that. So I'd rather calculate it than store it something like that and it could be a, an expensive calculation if it need to be so if it's zero and then if y same thing do do, do. then pixel data will equal and then we also increment the pixel because we're done with it. Equals the color fill. Otherwise, black. Otherwise, uh, it's the opposite of this. So it'll be black fill. And then we color fill data pointed to data pointed to and it's incremented afterwards. Now of course this is assuming that data we're given is already the right size. So I'm gonna need a bit of a function that kind of returns Hmm. Hmm. So that it returns an image. Or it returns a set of data that we can then pass into the image actually. So rather than this, we just have a simple like We'll take in some stuff along with the format. Number of mip map levels. And then we'd return and maybe a sampler to go along with it. One, two, three, four. And then we'd of course need the um, No, because that would be part of the... Okay, actually, both of these would be... Passed in by that. It 
header will have like the uh, types. Introduce that way. Right? Yeah, uh, almost. Meme fixed. Okay. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? We need uh, to upload. We need a number of things, don't we? need a device we need an allocator and then uh, for uploading data this would also apply for um, mesh model or any other thing that we need to upload directly to the GPU and store on the GPU we'd need to actually like transfer queues we need the queue family and then we need command pools and command uh, and buffers during this. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh crap. I need like a resource uploader. Struct cuz this would also have to be reused for other things. Destination command pool and the VK command pool for source and the queues. If I just environment, yes, this thing Q family. Source queue family will be a pointer, I suppose.
but that's actually only for this is only single threaded then I need to have one of uh, these command pools for both the source and the destination for each of the threads I have active, which may be significant. Well, how significant? An average system has what? Four core and four thread, mostly Intel i5s. Even if we're talking top end consumer, we're talking about 16 to 32. And we're talking about top but the top end thread rippers, if you're mad today, is 64128. I could totally afford to have a bunch of command pools or whoops, uh, resource uploading for every single thread you could possibly run this on. I would need to know hardware concurrency but it'd be doable okay actually but that's that's speculation that's more than I really should be doing right now I should just honestly be satisfied just getting the bare minimum of this done hmm. okay hold on I gotta Actually, no, i got to have a bit of a longer think as to how exactly I want to do this. So I'm going to leave it here at the moment while I pace around outside for a bit and figure out exactly what I'm going to do with this. Because I'm kind of a lot closer than I was. So I'm going to cheers. All right. Um, now that I've had a good long think about it. <clears throat> What I need, uh, first of all, I need like the Vulcan <coughs> memory allocator to be actually created as part of the environment. So going back here. the environment creating instance the physical device the queues the device you know all that stuff then we've got Okay, let's just see if that's working or not. No, allocate one. Really? Did I not save it? Allocate or. Oh, right, yeah, wrong. Mm. 
down here. And we also want to do destruction. Actually, yeah, I don't even, whatever. Uh, I want the uh, P environment for the allocator. Okay. So now I have that. <clears throat> now I want to be able to figure out how to create this resource uploader type, which is going to require source destination queues, which I believe. Hmm. Let's clear everything out to the right. For an environment, do I have retrieving of, no I do not. I need to be able to figure out to retrieve a particular um, queue type, I should say. So we've got the creation, we've got the uh, destruction. Just get a queue. use that 
instead. Hmm. Do I have to go through all the um, pool cues that I've attached? families I'm going to want um <clears throat> the Q flags which I believe are the ones I'm looking at I'm looking for cuz these are the ones to say yeah the, the Q types equals flags precisely then we just return it because it is the best I don't think there's multiple Q families that have the same set of flags or that I really should be bothered by it hmm for the moment I'll just return the first keep it easy it's going to return I which is the index that we found it at I'm going to need like a, so don't even do this. We'll need a list up. Um, pairs of compatible Q families. Um, I got vector if it has all at least the minimum not the flags that we require plus some others well then um federal q families place back uh the index and hmm Bit, bit count, bit count, bit pop. Um, what is it? Pop count. Well, I may not have pop count. Okay, we'll just do like bit count. And we'll have uh, another. Of the flag. Okay, uh, bit count, bit count. 
Do we have a little empty namespace area? We do up here. Clear environment. Clear okay. It'll turn. It'll be inline. T. I'm pretty sure Microsoft has not. Or, um. I don't know. Okay, I know that for um, yeah. just pop count or um, Fortran. Oh, there's a standard now since C plus plus twenty. Who has it though? Does everyone have it? Um Oh wow, 23 steps done showing up. Because there's no way to find out except actually putting it in and seeing what comes out. Don't necessarily require this. As long as I include bit. Mosey back on down, and it's like standard. That. Got an extra one. Okay. Um, at the end, if we didn't find an exact match. take the value of the first Q, whatever the first uh, index is. No, I have to start at these flags index of zero. And the, yeah, yeah. starts at one because we already have that one taken care of there at the top. No, just yeah, just do it that way quickly. It's 
less than release flags. Okay, get best queue for the flags from the environment. So going back to the resource uploader, probably want it up here. That we just need the resource uploader. Also going to want to export. In 2D. to bam, bam. Okay. So for for the resource uploader we need um
we're going to need to feed. Okay, we're of course going to. Um, I'm going to pass it in, I think. Or hmm, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do it like this. start with and we're going to do like um, upload device And we need to find out the, the transfer and the destination queues, which would be like the trans, uh, transfer and graphics queues. So source and destination. So at this point, it'll be like photo graphics. Get best queue from that, and we want the. Requires a single argument, but um Oh, the, <clears throat> I didn't, yeah. For now, it is only graphics, but we we'll want compute later and a bunch of other things. Hmm. Okay, right now I only really care about graphics. So just keep it simple. Just do that. Hmm. Okay, so we have all this, and we want to toast, paste it up. need to okay uh, what if they're the same actually if they're the same queue then we can just do a destination oh yeah yeah okay if so this is uh, a thing for in uh, typically integrated graphics where like there's only one queue type shared across all the things. So it's also the transfer, it's also the graphics, it's also the compute queue. And if it's that, if that's the case, because the, the point of this is <clears throat> on dedicated graphics cards, there's some queues that are faster or more efficient at doing transfers and others are graphics. And then when you upload a resource, you get rid of the alarm. You upload using the transfer queue and then you change it and then you change the data, manipulate the data to say you are no longer for the exclusive use of transfer, uh, the transfer queue, you're now for the exclusive use of graphics. So it kind of, I don't know if it does anything specific. It might, I mean, probably especially on phones or something. I would imagine, whatever. It changes the, who can access it. So we need to figure out like, if they're separate, then we need to transfer the data from one queue to the other. If however, it's on the same queue, then I can just upload it to the 
starting queue and then that's it. I don't have to do any extra manipulation that transfer between queue types. So if the transfer queue is the same as the graphics queue, then we only need to do um, the destination queue. Hmm. Otherwise, if they're separate, do a bunch of stuff otherwise if there's uploader destination key family multiple pointer do a bunch of stuff on that okay we're going to require we need to create a uh, Create flag transient, you said. Um, what are these flags about? I'm thinking of requiring the type that, okay, this, I don't need any of this. Do I have the spec? Yes, I do. Is that it? Oh, no, no. Trim, what? Okay, here we go. Transient bits. Resetting individual clan buffers, no. The transient does make sense. Okay, we'll put that as uh, for both. Because all these buffers will be short lived. on that.
Okay. And basically do the same thing for the destination queue family. Graphics. Queue. Destination command pool. I think that's about it. So we just go, th the only things we need to destroy from the resource uploader is the command pools that we created. If, mm, <clears throat> we need to do it in possibly a delayed fashion. You know what, I'm not even going to bother with delayed stuff quite yet. If Got that. Now I want to create it. Actually, you may want to keep it private. And have the loaders kind of manage their own. So that this some hmm, resource management. Interesting. Terrifying. Got to figure this fucking warning out. I don't understand. I don't get it in other shells. It's just this one. Maybe I need to do a fresh... Whatever. <clears throat> so we got this. We want to... For the moment... That. Let's see how it uh, how it works. We create the window, create the service, create the environment. Let's just create the environment and see what we got. Oh, 
yes, I also need to actually, you know, if it's successful. Star equals res uploader. Otherwise, we're returning nothing. Or unmodified, anyways. Just that will not have a pointer pointer, just pointer. I have no I don't okay let's go inside see what goes on this is all empty blanks wonderful got transfer queue and the graphics queue they're different on this RX 580 so go into this one source and destination queue we go with command pools. We do have one. Source becomes the transfer queue, which is one. Created it. Okay. Pass this stuff back in to this. We go inside, we just destroy the command pool. Ooh. Really? Aborted. That's not good. Hmm. Double free detected in T cache. Oh, yes. You know what? Mm hmm. Yes. Only destroy it if uh, it failed to be created. You idiot. successfully created no complaints about well, actually that's because the validation's off as well hmm can we add that or hmm need a couple of First of all, uh, we do have, we added Vulcan memory allocator already, so we need this. And this. Then we go to environment CDP. doing any of this quite yet.
I'm sorry, what? Oh, it's down there now. Hmm. Okay. Of course, allocator will eventually have to be boiled down further to like some other kind of resource level. But right now, global, work with it. Keep it simple. Oh, and I needed this to be added to it too as well. And this, oh, did I not even have, oh man, I didn't even. Or no, if desired, honestly. Let's uh, rework these guys. Get three base. Got five. Go. Limits tuple. that that for the moment oh 
almost. Why am I carrying the Q family? Actually, I don't know why I'm carrying the Q family, so I'm not going to quite implement, uh, put this, check this in quite yet. I'll have a quick stop it there. I'm out of time. Cheers. <laughs>